Irish Griffith Code Enforcement, Town of Berwick here. I wanted to talk with you briefly about the inspection process and the required inspections. So now that I am here and I am full time, I will have the ability, the time, and the flexibility to ensure that we are meeting all inspection requirements required by the State of Maine and the Town of Berwick. So regarding our inspection process, what I will be doing is when you're issued your permit, you're going to see a list of required inspections and there will be a check mark beside the ones that you need. So some of the common, most common inspections required are three types of inspections for your foundation. I need to do a footing and setback verification. When you first dig the hole for your foundation and you put your footing boards in and your rebar in, at that point I need you to stop, call me, I'll come out with your permit in hand, look at the drawings that you've submitted, and then at that point verify your setbacks are correct, your rebar is in, and your outline matches what you've submitted for your plans. Then I'll give you the go-ahead to pour your, your footing. Then you can put up your wall frames, put your rebar in, give me a call before you pour. That is a pre-pour inspection for your walls. I will come out, again, document the rebar in place, make sure that the walls match where they're supposed to, that they're centered properly on the footings with the amount that's required, and then you can go ahead and pour that. When you strip your walls, any damp proofing that needs to be on goes up, any drainage that needs to be in goes in. You can go ahead and put your gravel down in over your drainage tubes. I need to make sure that there is clean fill and if you're using any fabric that that is all on site. Then I can come out, document those conditions, and allow you to backfill your foundation. From there, your next inspections will typically be rough framing and rough plumbing. The Town of Berwick does not do electrical inspections. We defer to the state for that. I can give you the contact information if you should need it, but your electrician will typically have that information and know where to get that permit. Your plumber will need to come pull a permit with our office, and then they can have their rough plumbing inspection, rough framing inspection. I need you to contact me before you do your installation for those inspections. Once those have passed, I'll give you the go ahead to go ahead and do your installation. If you at any point run into a problem, say there is a header that needs to be beefed up. I'll let you know that you'll do it. Give me a call back. I'll scoop back out, check it, then you can move on. So once you have your insulation in, then I come back, re-inspect, make sure that they hit everything they were supposed to. A lot of people are switching now to spray foam in insulation. When your spray foam people come, Please make sure they leave you with something showing what they're getting for their R factors because I do like to document that for your file. From there, it's usually a while before you'll see me again because once your insulation inspection is done, I don't typically need to come back unless you run into a problem of some kind and need my assistance until the final inspection. When I go out for a final inspection, particularly on a new house, I do need the house numbers on there. I will check to make sure you've got all of your lights working, that all of your health and safety needs are met, that your handrails return back to the walls, that you have your handrails where they're needed, guardrails where they're needed. I do check your smoke detectors, your carbon monoxide detectors, gas detector if it's required. Um, and then hopefully everything passes and I give you your certificate of occupancy. If you have any questions about the inspection process, any questions about whether or not you may be required to do an inspection, just feel free to give me a call. Again, as always, you can call or text me on my cell phone, 207-752-6103. You can email me, code at berwickmaine.org. Maine is spelled out in that. Or you can call me at the office, 698-1101. My extension is 122. Thank you. Mm -hmm.